Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about accessories that I purchased for my wife's Hyundai Palisade. These are accessories that some are a little bit more expensive and some are really cheap, but things that are just make it convenient for longer road travel. Before I get into that, if you're interested in a Hyundai Palisade, check out my two other videos. Uh, the first video talks about hardwiring a dash cam onto your Palisade. Uh, that way you don't have to mess with the uh, cigarette adapter and these messy cords. You can actually tuck it in, uh, plug it into your fuse box by purchasing a, an adapter. And that way that dash cam turns on and off when you start the engine. The second video talks about the third row seating and how comfortable it is for a full size adult. I give you my two cents as I actually rode back there one time. Uh, so check out that video too if you're interested into seeing how spacious the third row seating is when they're up. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. So the first accessory that we purchased is a roof rack. When I was searching for roof racks, the only one that was available was the Thule brand and that one was crazy expensive. So I went on Amazon and I found these. I'll go ahead and link to the, the exact product that we got uh, on the description of the video. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and take a look there. But these were relatively cheap. Uh, they were about $150 when I purchased them. They have a max capacity of about 165 pounds. I will tell you, uh, they, were, they were actually easy to install and they're adjustable too, so you can slide them along the roof rails. But the one issue that we've had with them is the wind noise. When we're going about anywhere between 25 to 40 miles an hour, you could definitely hear the wind noise um, from these uh, racks. So that's the only downside, but I think you're gonna come across that uh, no matter what brand uh, you find. Like I said, they're pretty easy to install. I was able to do it completely by myself, and I think it was worth it for the cheaper price of the $150-ish. The next thing I'm gonna show you are these headrest mount holders for tablets. These came in very handy for a long road trip when we went on uh, right after we purchased a car. It's great for the kids because this way their heads aren't always looking down, hurting their neck. It's basically at their head or eye level. And you can see right here, it's Velcroed and you can easily put them on and you can actually adjust the uh, viewing angle too. This is great, again, for those long road trips where the kids can watch movies and again, they're not having to like look down uh, on their tablets the whole time during the road trip. These are pretty cheap. And again, I purchased these on Amazon and I'll have a link to the uh, exact item that I purchased if you look at the notes to this uh, video. Okay, so for the next two items, they're related and they're related to the center console of the Palisade. Now, what I purchased here is an armrest cushion. Uh, for those of you guys who already have the Palisade, you'll notice that the armrest is actually pretty stiff and it's not comfortable to re rest your elbow there, especially for long road trips. So I wanted to get something that had a little bit more padding. And this one you can see right here, it easily installs onto your existing uh, cover. Uh, and then this is the second item that I purchased. And this is basically a tray cover that has spots for coins, pens, etc. Uh, the one that comes with the car is a tiny little uh, rectangle, so I wanted to get something that was a little bit more useful. And you still have a little corner that a uh, cable can go through right there on the top left if you had something plugged in. One thing to keep in mind is that that armrest cushion does not necessarily match the color of the seats. It's not a 100% match. It might be for the black one, but when I purchased it, I purchased it on eBay here. What I did is I just typed in Hyundai Palisade console, and then you can see right there, there's two colors and it's the one right there for $59.99, but it does ship from South Korea and the tray storage box comes from China. So it will take a while uh, to arrive. Um, but just keep in mind that the color uh, does not necessarily match the existing color of your car. It might for the black one, but for the cream or the white one, it doesn't necessarily match. And again, I'm just going to show you here um, what the pricing is as of the time of this video, what it looks like, and where you can purchase it too. The next item is a glass protective film for the screen for the infotainment center. Now, do you really need one of these things? You know, at first I didn't think I actually needed one, but what happened was I actually got a scratch on my you know, six month old iPhone 11 Pro, and now every time I look at it, it just really bugs me. 
Uh, and so I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep this car for a lot longer than what I will my phone. So I want to make sure there's not going to be any scratches that, that's going to bug me when I see it. So right here I show you the installation. It's obviously pretty easy. Um, but this is something that I purchased also. Just it's a cheap way to keep the screen uh, from getting any scratches. The next thing is the official trunk cover from Hyundai for the Palisade. And the nice thing is it's actually tucked uh, inside into the storage compartment, as you can see here. You know, over here I keep our umbrellas, our emergency kits, snow scraper, etc. But when you're not using the trunk cover, you can actually store it in there too, which is convenient. Uh, this thing has come in handy many times and we use it anytime we travel, we have luggage and we need to do a pit stop or if we go shopping and we need to uh, put some stuff into the car but go back out to the store. This way we can uh, close the uh, cover and that way people can't peek inside and see what's inside the trunk area. Over here you can see the slots that the uh, trunk cover goes into. There's two slots and I'm not exactly sure why there's two of them. You can choose either the one on the left or the right. Uh, I usually choose the one that's um, closer to the back, but I think they both fit inside uh, either one. So they're pretty easy to install. You basically just squeeze the little black uh, rubber ends inward to um, secure it into place. And that's pretty much it. And you do the same thing when you take it out. And then once you have it installed, obviously you can just pull the handle and you latch it on. There's a little area right there you can latch it onto and you're basically done. And again, this comes in really handy to be able to hide things in your trunk if you don't want other people to uh, snoop into your car. Again, if you're interested in the Hyundai Palisade, check out my two other videos. The one that talks about hardwiring a dash cam. It's a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be. And it just makes it a neat solution to install either a dash cam or even a radar detector. If you have a radar detector and you want to hardwire it, it's actually fairly simple. I show you in the video which fuses to tap. Uh, to hardwire it. And then the other Palisade video talks about the third row seating and how spacious it, uh, how spacious I found it to be. Uh, and it's specific to the limited edition with the captain's chair. So if you're considering the limited edition, I would highly recommend it. Obviously that's the top of the line trim. Uh, the captain's chair come in, comes in very handy, not only for uh, the comfort of the second row seats, but also for the third row seats too. So go ahead and check out that video. And as always, please subscribe. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching the video, hitting the thumbs up, as well as hitting the subscribe button. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks.